Born in 1897 in California, Earl Nelson is widely regarded as the first sex serial killer of the 20th century and arguably the most prolific murderer until about the 1960s. Dubbed Gorilla Man due to his odd facial features, as well as the Dark Strangler, it is believed that Earl Nelson's mental dereliction derived from a horrid accident from his youth and the regular tragedy that he endured growing up. At the age of two, both of Nelson's parents died from syphilis. He then moved in with his deeply religious grandmother, a component of his childhood that he harnessed and twisted as he grew into his adult life. At the age of 10, he was hit by a car while riding his bicycle. He barely survived and was unconscious for the following six days. By 14, his grandmother had died and he was sent to live with his aunt and uncle. His behavior following the car accident was described as deviant and erratic, leading to his arrest in 1915 for breaking into a home. After serving his two-year sentence, he enlisted in the United States Navy. While in the Navy, Nelson's odd behavior culminated in him refusing to leave his cot and ranting about the biblical book of Revelations. This got him committed to a mental hospital three times, each time he escaped, and after the final time, they stopped trying to find him. That disregard and oversight for the severity of Earl Nelson's mental illness would cost the lives of no fewer than 22 women. The Dark Strangler's modus operandi was as follows. Scour for elderly women renting out a room in her home. He would gain her trust by pretending to be a mild-mannered Christian man, Bible in hand, then proceed to strangle them to death and sexually assault their corpses. He committed at least 10 of these murders before a victim, Mrs. H.C. Murray, escaped from Nelson and gave his description to the police. Concerned that he might be identified, Nelson began state hopping to continue his murderous spree. Feeling the pressure of police who are fervent in their pursuit of the killer at this point, the Dark Strangler went over the border to Canada, immediately taking the life of 14-year-old Lola Cohen. However, he slipped in his actions yet again. He hid her corpse under his own sleeping quarters. Right at the time, Canadian police were alerted to check every boarding home near the United States border. He was set to be hanged on January 13, 1928, and before the trap was set, he proclaimed, I am innocent. I stand innocent before God and man. I forgive those who have wronged me and ask forgiveness for those I have injured. God have mercy. And just like the act that led to his capture and demise, Earl Nelson writhed as the breath left his lungs, and he was strangled to death.